Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Silent Hill 4. This is part 6, where last time we got a very interesting, but maybe underwhelming scene with uh, with our third victim, 18121. Uh, we didn't get much characterization with him at all, but rest in peace, you know, we, we barely knew you. His hand's on the wall. We got Frank over there, he's still trying to suss our situation out, because he can't, he cannot get in. And if he tries to pass a note under the door, it's just covered in blood and we can't even read it. So, there you go, we've got more to figure out with Walter. I, I don't know what to, don't know what to tell you, we're just going to have to wait and see what the, what the next world brings. It, um, it almost feels like we might be revisiting. Uh, somewhere that we've gone before, so we'll just have to we'll just have to wait and see. I feel like, in terms of just to touch on that characterization of of that that character as well, which I think um, Andrew DeSalvo, as I think is actually is his name, <laughs> um, you know, that we could have gotten like a cutscene or a bit more dialogue when he was actually locked in the cell because then, you know, he would have actually like communicated to us a bit more of like, oh, I'm trapped in here, let me out, blah, blah, you know, what's your name? Because <laughs> he, he just kind of sat there and was just like, hello, I am trapped in here. Do you reckon I should use, <laughs> do you reckon I should start using the gun? This is actually, this is actually hilarious because I've, I've taken such a melee focus only um, in this game so far, but I, I actually feel like in terms of the enemies we've faced, they've primarily been ones that I've kind of really been able to easily handle with, with melee weapons. Usually in the past, I'm like, as soon as I get like a weapon, have a decent amount of handgun, bullets I'm like let's just go but I'm currently holding on to 70 handgun bullets so I'm thinking I accidentally equipped that let's get rid of that so I don't accidentally equip that because apparently I'm supposed to save that for later um, I'll keep 20 bullets and then I'll keep the steel pipe because I'm, I'm very comfortable using the, the melee weapon at the moment and I'll keep my health kits in there so I think I think that's a pretty good Pretty good setup. We'll, we'll see what's waiting for us next. And I can either choose to use the handgun if it approaches. If those babies come at me, uh, those conjoined babies, maybe I'll shoot them from a distance this time <laughs> instead of letting them smack me. But uh, we will. We will just have to see. We'll just have to see how we go. So, you know, we got to do our our typical. You know, watch Eileen through the hole in the wall creep on her a little bit and see what she's uh, see what she's getting up to so she's watching uh, she's watching her show that she loves so much so that's great I'm happy for her at least she's having a good time in her apartment and she can leave if she wants but uh, I cannot so I don't think we've got any changes out here. Still just a, a normal day outside with all of your normal residents staring across from me with whatever they had. That window is, that one there is the one that creeps me out the most. The two people who are just staring out. Are they trapped in their apartment as well? I don't even know. Let's go through the, I think it's, it's time. It's time to go through the hole. Because yes, we had the bloody, yeah, we had the bloody shower. And this hole is just increasing in size. And uh, someone's, someone's crying. So, the hole's even bigger now. There's a lot of noise coming from inside the hole. Will you go in? Yes. Ah, uh, woo! So excited getting taken on such a ride.
So immediately, up here, we've got a static door. It's just playing... It's just playing static. But what does it mean? But what does it mean? I also can't... There we go. Why do I feel like we're going to get greeted... What the fuck? Alright, I think it's a good choice that I'm deciding to pick a gun, because I feel like we're going to have a lot of monsters that are going to just decide to start running at us. That are just jumping along the rooftop. So I was going to say, why do I feel like we're going to have those demon monsters who come out of the wall? But I feel like, what, are we going to get ambushed from above with whatever the hell those things are? Can I dodge with the gun? I just wanted to double check. I can dodge with the gun. Cool. I like that I can move while I have the gun ready. That's a, a great advantage over Resident Evil. <laughs> what are these noises? What's a car doing here? The lock is broken, I can't open the door. What's the map looking like? Staircase down. What the? Oh, oh, no! Are these the monkey? Are these the monkey dudes from Silent Hill One? Oh! I think they're the monkey dudes from Silent Hill One. I will not be mounted today, sir. You may have mounted Harry Mason, but you will not mount me! How do we reload? You just press X. Oh, that's so quick. I love that. Dude, I feel like I, I should be, be getting more bullets. Oh, we're, we're here. We're at, at South Ashfield. We're on the other side of the uh, apartment. Next save point we get, I'll get more, I'll get more handgun bullets for sure. This is so chaotic. Someone's trying to just shoot them all, I think. Oh god. Ouch! Damn it. He's fine! <laughs> Where the hell am I? Buddy! <sighs> Buddy. You're a real person. No broken limbs? Hey, you're the guy that lives across from me. Yeah, my name's Henry. I'm Richard Braintree, from 207. What the hell's happened to us? That hole in this free Yeah, I recognize world. him by the tie. But if you're here too, then there must be something wrong with the whole apartment building. That must explain what happened to that other guy, too. What other guy? The guy who lived in 302 before you. A journalist. He disappeared one day. He got pretty crazy towards the end. <sighs> Shut himself up in his room and wouldn't come out. Anyway, I'm getting the hell out of here. You should too, if you know what's good for you. Wait. Watch out for that kid. Huh. He did try and give him some warning! Monkey men! That don't even really look like monkeys! I've had it with you! Take my charge shot. Why do you have a head coming out of your torso? You've already got another head. Don't get selfish. What are you so excited about? Stop it. 
You're awful. Step right on your dick. Get out of here. He's got two heads, so you sacrifice your dick. I've seen this sign before, but even so, where am I? Yeah, we're at Hotel South Ashfield. This is across the road. But there's someone else, like, shooting a gun and making that noise. So there's more than just... That other person. Yeah. Alright, hold on a minute. This is so chaotic. Um, did that guy fall from where we came from? Or was he above us? Oh. I'm just making sure I'm not missing any anything. And guess what? I got rewarded with another one of you. Yeah, you fall down the stairs. There you go. Remove your dick too. So you can't reproduce into more of those things. Alright, we're leaving. What? Am I, I'm like in a zoo right now, dude. What the hell is going on? Oh, what the hell? There's a weird sword stuck in his stomach and he's holding something in his hand. Take the item in his hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you don't need it anymore. I have the ghost's key. The key... Oh, the key that the ghost was holding. This is a ghost. Because this is one of the swords. Oh no! Nope! No, 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 not yet. I'm gonna pause because there's so much sound and it's all chaotic, but... People in this apartment building as well, it's not just Henry, so that dude... Again, I'm terrible with names, because I got... Confused straight away. I was like, I recognize you by the tie. Room 207 guy. Is also getting pulled into this, so it's the it's definitely the full apartment building. I wonder if Eileen's experienced anything. And then we've got the weird monkey demon guys. We've got the scene birthday cake and champagne here. This is like the uh, this is like Resident Evil Seven kitchen. <laughs> it's a spider's web. No, thank you. What a chaotic start already. So much stuff to take in. So I feel like this is one of those, the swords that can, well I mean it is, it's got to be one of those swords that can do something and prevent the ghosts from, you know, doing their thing. And we've got a key. Shall I take the sword and then run? Sword of Obedience. Extremely rare sword. When used against downed ghosts, it stops them in place. When pulled out, the ghost is revived. So if I down the ghost, then I use it. And um, I'm going to just step on your dick as well. There you go. I'm getting out of here. Use the ghost key. So we have a we have a sword now that we we can use against the against the ghosts if we if we want to. So I think it was mentioned to me in a comment, like, if there's a particular ghost, I like, actually pay attention to the, what they look like. If there's a particular ghost that's giving me... Oops. Particular ghost that's giving me trouble, that's the one that I can consider using the, the sword on. Oh my god. Why, why is it so glitched here? Like we got that oh, door that was wide open that was static. We got whatever the hell's going on here. Judging by the all the gating and like fence and like what I'm walking on right now, I believe it would be safe to assume. Oh, safe to assume we're in Otherworld version of Ashfield Heights. Uh, we got a door here. over here. We've got another one of these. Oh. We've got something making noise at me. What's in the middle? Can't can't inspect it. Oh! I'm leaving. Oh! I'm I'm leaving. Hold on. Oh, it's this guy. It's the guy that I took the sword out of. 
Can you go down for a second? Ah, oh, that was my mistake. I should have just ran. Stop reaching inside of me. Leave me alone. Okay, we're getting haunted, and this is what I get for taking the sword. I wasn't gonna just leave it there. Pistol bullets, great. What the hell? Something reeks. Great, now I'm just gonna have to deal with the fact that I'm being chased by that same ghost. Can't I just be like, hey buddy, I released you. The least you could do is say thank you and then leave me alone and go haunt someone else. Go haunt the other guy that I just met. You know? Give me golf club. Five Ooh. iron, baby. We got another one. We should probably start using them at this point because there's a couple. Can we use the baseball bat as well? It's an aluminum bat, Ooh. dude. Reasonably powerful and easy to use, so it's not one that breaks. I'm keen. Yeah, cool. Awesome. That bat's made out of plastic. Uh, and then we've got two doors. It's already told us that there's a save room right here. <laughs> Lovely. Cool. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to have a look at my handgun bullets, I reckon. We'll, we'll hold on to the sword because I feel like I can I feel like I can avoid the ghosts primarily you know enough to keep those swords on me so there's a sort of obedience so I feel like maybe they will be different named swords potentially unless they're unless they're unless they're all called sword of obedience who's knocking on my door? Hello? Hello? Who's knocking? Better check on your neighbor soon. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> we are getting sent messages through the door. And I'm assuming the neighbor that they're referring to is not Eileen, but we will double check, but our other guy. Except she runs straight away. Well, I feel like we're obviously that the dude that we just met is going to die. <laughs> I don't think that's uh I don't think that that's too far fetched of an idea. Uh, I think that it is quite, quite likely that we could see the death of that man. So he's our, he's our guy for this, for this nightmare scenario. Anything on the radio? Nope. Okay, just that, just that really lovely message for us. So I'll put the, I'll put the five iron away. Save the, save the golf clubs again. We got three different ones. I think we got five, six, and nine. Yeah. I'll I'll just keep those ten bullets. So that gives me twenty-five. Let's put the sword of obedience away. Absolutely insane. And we'll put the steel pipe away now. We can use the the al aluminum, <laughs> the aluminium bat. That's right. I pronounce it aluminium. So that's how that's how we say it. I'm curious about the the feminine crying that we're hearing because I was expecting that maybe we'd meet potentially like a female character. It could have even been the cries of Eileen, but it seems like they're just sound effects at the moment coming out of this hole. So that's locked. This one's open. Oh yay! It's it's just gonna get bloodier and bloodier. Do you have to get Do you have to get like that though? Do you have to get all growly and aggressive? I'd rather not. Pet shop. Oh, oh you, you so fast, sir. You're so fast. Can't even see you right now, thank you. 
take that. Oh, this takes ages to charge up. This takes ages to charge up. But it's worth it, because we knock a home run with that one. Home run, baby. Oh, there's another one. Let's do a dance. Let's do a dance, you and I. Let's do a dance. Smack you for six. Home run! There's multiple of them, because I can keep hearing them. They're trying to run towards me. Oh, there you are. Cool. Well, you just stay there, because now you can't do anything. While I have a look around. Uh, you found keys. Will you take them? Albert's sports key. Found in the pet shop. Well, we were just in a sports shop, so that's going to be the other door. But, we just make sure that we've got everything. I'm just trying to read if anything's on the wall. It is not. Alright, so, shall we have fun? Charge up the... Oh, God, no! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I missed. That is so disappointing. How disappointing! I was charging that up and everything. Alright, I'll just whack you like this. Just whack him in the back, because he wasn't even acknowledging that I was there. How rude. I just want to be... appreciated! Out of here. Looks like a cage for a dog or cat. Yeah, do. God, this camera angle is classic Silent Hill 1. Like, you know when you're running through here and it's like going... <laughs> when, you when you run through that first alleyway and it's basically the game developers just saying, Yep, this isn't Resident Evil, baby. No fixed camera nonsense. We're gonna mess with your, mess with your mind with these camera angles. Alright, let's check this room out. Hmm. Okay. There was a ghost because it started playing the sound effect. We're going to check the sport. We're going to use the sports key instead because I think we have to keep going that other way. So in here. Just let me pass, please. I am but an innocent, confused man in a horrific night... Near world? Wait a minute. Oh, I got confused there. I thought the door was on the other side. I went, <sighs> Okay. Yes, Albert Sports Key. No! Oh, well, is this where I'm supposed to go now? Because now I don't know. This could be where I'm supposed to go. Shops, the pet shop is. I don't know. Hang on, let's let's have a look. Oh God, why is there multiple? There's so many. I'm, I'm gonna get trapped. Uh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> All right, we can get him to fall down the stairs. That's great. Um, let's do the option where we run. So this is like a fire escape down the side. Ooh! I am outnumbered here. Oh, let's take- oh my god! Hello! 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 You know what? This could be the way to go. This is... Mm, uh, the elevator's not here. The elevator's here, though. Yeah, this is the way to go. I need to go back the other way now, just to open up that last pet shop thing. But I hope I haven't missed my chance, because I just kind of... Yep. Yeah, oops. I thought that this was uh, not the way to go. Okay, you're on your way up. 
Oh, he's with the kid. For... Oh my god. The kid he was talking about. You live in that apartment too, huh? Say, you look a lot like a little punk that I once caught sneaking around there. Do you know something about what's going on? Hey, hey, you! Stop! Well, sir, that was a mistake. You're gonna get killed. Alright, we can keep... Well, he went up. So... I guess eventually we have to go up as well. So maybe this isn't the way to go? Uh, I don't know. I hope not. We get a health drink, which is actually going to be a great thing to hold on to for now. Is this an item that we can pick up? Like a pipe? Or is the pipe just sitting there for effect? So, there's a ladder on the other side. I really want to know if I'm going the right way or not, because part of me does not want to go the right way. Let me go through. Because then we've got another ladder here. Now we're back outside again. And more of these monkey men! There's just so many, there's so many options. Oh my, oh my, oh. 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 <laughs> Uh, why is there just so many? He's got a he's got a golf club. Guys, I I just went really far. There are so many enemies. There are so many. kind of a room is this, man? This feels like I fight someone in here. This feels like a boss room. Am I here too early? It just feels like they're are so many multiple pathways to take because there's like there was the pet store that I could have kept going through and then do I go up the elevator down the elevator do I go in any one of these doors and in those other alleyways there's so many doors oh, I got an axe yes Short but powerful and easy to handle. And a save point. There's a memo here. The boss said that the number this time is the last four digits of this store's phone number. Okay guys. The phone the phone number comes comes into effect. I I understand. Um which is why there's a save point here, because now we can go and check. I'm pretty sure it's 3750. Uh, so the phone number is written right there on the side of the roof. Anybody should see it from South Ashfield Street. Is that really okay? <laughs> well, guess what, sir? What are we using it on? Probably a safe behind the bar or something. It's a billiard table. It looks like they're in the middle of a game. This is a good opportunity to save, reassess my inventory, I'll probably equip a few more handgun bullets, and then maybe see if I can go back um, the way that we came. P 
purely because of the amount of things that it looks like I just totally skipped over, you know? Oh, so it's just the way out that's 3750. Okay. Wonderful. What could potentially be an idea, because I feel like I've just kind of skipped over a bunch of stuff, is I might save on a new save game, keep progressing this way, and see, see how I go. Because if I have the opportunity to uh, see missable stuff, I, I want to take that opportunity. So I'll, I'll go in here, I'll do a, I'll do a save on a, on a new save file. Then we'll keep pushing through and see if this is the way to go. Considering old mate went up the lift with that kid, it feels like that we eventually have to make our way back up. Make our way back up there. It's not there anymore. Okay, we've just got Frank there staring at us, so that sign is no longer warning us. Aileen, hello. Not here today. Okay. So this is the this is the plan. Save on a new slot from building world. That way, if I have missed anything or skipped over something that I should have I should have looked at. I'll be able to do it. I won't I won't miss it. I just I cannot believe running through that area there was just so many enemies constantly because it's like if I stopped to fight any of them, all the other ones would catch up. <laughs> so I was like, nah. Nah 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 nah. Big big nope. Uh, yep. Stop it. Okay, we're now out here. Doesn't look like... Oh no, he's gonna be fault pushed. Oh! Oh! Wait! Oh! Just get down on the ground, sir. No! Leave me alone! Get down on the ground. Oh! It's gonna make us... Jesus Christ, look at these guys. Um, I think it's going to make us run up to... No, this is definitely the way to go. It's going to make us run up to... Our friend. Alright. All this, all this says to me... Stop, 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 leave me alone. All this says to me is that I should be going the other way. Why do you have to sound that way? Like, why do you have to sound like that? Why do you have to make those effects at me? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, just to save your time, um, is I'm going to just quickly run back into these areas off camera and see if there's anything notable. I'll be right back. So, I found something. An upside down clock, the hands aren't moving, the doorknob is rusted shut and I can't get it open. Um, I d mm. So that's what I came down here to find. So that's what I think that I potentially missed, is there is a clock on this door that I can't get open so I guess to get that open I'm gonna have to do a puzzle of some kind in relation to a clock it looks like a clock that is in my apartment so potentially oh we're upside down 
We're upside down, we're on the roof. Okay, no, this makes a lot more sense. Okay. Well, I mean, I say it makes a lot more sense, but maybe either, oh, you know what? I might be able to, it hasn't let me, but maybe now that I've inspected this, if I could rearrange the hands on my clock in my apartment, could it spin this room back around? And then I'd be on the floor? Am I onto something here? That's, that's but this, that door's, oh man. I can see that that door can, this can totally be flipped because there's a staircase there. This is strange. Uh, also, I will note that when I went back into the elevator, I was able to climb up another ladder or like leave the elevator doors and get those handgun bullets that were on the other side of the fence. So I've gotten handgun bullets and I found this clock. So I'm now going to go back to my apartment and see if I can investigate something to do with the hands. Uh, this is a, it's a lot of running around because it's all over the place. So I am now going to go back to the apartment uh, and you can see me trying to figure this out if it has any consequence. <laughs> all right, so let's, let's summarize. I did go back to the apartment. Interacting with the clock does nothing. Um, I have run around for a bit to see if there's anything in that general vicinity or that area. Even trying to find similarities between like the clock in my apartment, but nothing. I am going to leave it for now because it isn't, it's not giving me anything and I'm going to only assume maybe a return visit could potentially be what we'll need. So I'm giving up on that. I'm giving up on that room and we've, we've come back and we're gonna finish up everything before we go to where we were before, which seems to be where we're supposed to go. So we're gonna go through, we're on the top floor uh, with the elevator. So bottom eight. So I'm gonna run through this door because there's a ghost in an unchecked area. And there's doors, and I think it's a dead end. It's a large spade. Take the spade. And this is another sword. Hold on a minute. We have another sword. It's some kind of strange sword. Take the sword of obedience. Okay, so there. Okay, so the five. The five swords in the game are all called the Swords of Obedience, and there's no doors in this hallway, but they look like doors. So we're just going to run. Oh, there's a... Jesus! There was a second one. Uh, there's so... There are so many ghosts in this... in this building world, dude. There are so many ghosts. Uh, we have not gone to the middle yet, so we're gonna go to the middle. So many ghost enemies. It's insane. Alright, so we're now at bottom 10. And we haven't done bottom 10 before. So that's shut tight. And that's shut tight. Okay, so... That way... I think we're good. I think I've done everything... That I can... That I can look for. We went through the... We went through the pet shop door. And that was all fine. Um... I went out here, like I said before. And... There were handgun bullets on the other side of that fence. And there's a whole, there's a whole bunch of enemies waiting for us uh, <laughs> down this way. So yeah, I don't know what to I don't know what I I don't know what to tell you um, in regards to that hanging clock. Uh, this is. A dead end because there's no elevator okay cool I feel good now because we it's like good confirmation that I was going the way that I was supposed to be going I just I just am quite curious as to what the what that clock room is for because that's Oh god, uh, that's the only loose end so far. And also, every enemy, including the dogs, chased me all the way down to the end on my way out of here. And I hate it. Looks like there's two doors that I didn't check. Alright, dogs, we're gonna just 
Alright, that's closed. And then there's another one on this side. Which is also closed. Alright, we'll just keep running. Yep, yep, yep. The dogs are really coming for me, dude. And I'm having none of it. And then we've got these guys as well, and I'm also having none of it. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Oh no, no, no. Oh! This dude's got a weapon. He's doing so much damage to me. What the hell? There's so many. I'm gonna, I might. That dude with the weapon is gonna kill me, dude. I'm dead. Oh. Who's... Who's crazy idea... Who's crazy idea was it to put, like, seven of them together? Um... I'm gonna go and, uh kill those guys then let's how, how about we try that one again that's very exciting so maybe I should be shooting them maybe I should shoot them with a with a handgun instead and that might make for a uh, make for a bit of a smoother smoother attack uh, well these these guys these guys I can take out Just lure them all to the stairs and then knock them all the way down to the bottom. See you later. Off you go. Down the stairs you go. <laughs> Insanely satisfying. You, get out of here. Killing them on a staircase is absolutely hilarious. Um, and what I've also noticed is there are two different types of these monkey madness enemies. Uh, ones are like whiter with like more blood on them or something and I'm not sure if they're stronger or not they don't seem to be stronger but they might behave differently I think so that's uh, that's always always super exciting and I, I I love that I just want to say I'm incredibly grateful for Silent Hills uh, continue option so if I do die it's like hey it's okay it's okay that you died because you can just start back to when you last came out of the save hole. And I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for that. Because then I would have to redo all of that exploring that I just did. And uh, it's uh, not very nice when you're recording a game and you have to then <laughs> sit here and do it all again. I have no one to blame but myself for not saving even more than I usually do. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of these guys while they're not looking. Because I have big monkey men to kill and I can't I can't afford I was gonna say that I can't afford being chomped on. Leave me alone! Come on, get out of here. Out of my life. Alright. I can safely avoid these guys because they don't just chase me and never let up like the dogs do. The dogs are insane. These guys are at least manageable. In Silent Hill 1 they're not. I don't even know if it's the same... I don't, I don't even know if it's the same enemy type, but it... They seem like it's the same enemy type, right? Oh god. Get out of here. I need I need you to be dead so I can retreat if I need. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and kill him. But the tactic the tactic is to stay away from the one with the weapon. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude. In the dick. Oh no, you got back up. You weren't supposed to get up. I'll accept being at half health at the moment. Because I'll be able to shoot the other dude. That's that's the plan. He's dead. Okay. Now, is the concept of this guy here like <laughs> who's just staying there? Is he supposed to be the bouncer to the bar? Like he's like, sorry mate, you can't come in. You can't come in, mate. Get out of here. Step on you. This isn't even the bar, so I wouldn't really consider him to be a, the bouncer. <laughs> Can we pick up his, uh, his item that he dropped? Like, because it, it looks like it's a like a golf club that was on the on the ground. I'm trying to see if I can. Yes, it's a golf club. Looks like a pitching wedge. Take the pitching wedge. So we've got uh, yet again another golf weapon, <laughs> but uh, it's still one that breaks. Uh, we can't climb up this ladder. All right, so that was chaotic and a bit a bit terrible on on my end, but we we did it. We we did it. I have no regrets about murdering all of these together, but like charging up the axe, uh, charging up the axe is a huge attack. It takes ages, and then it's just like, yeah. So I'm assuming it was said that when you're actually doing your charged up attack, you're invincible. So I I kind of love that because it takes so long to do that attack, and if if I was to get interrupted during that, I would be very upset. Uh, this that room seems to serve no purpose so let's go this way where I'm gonna have to go up against ghosts again at some point before I make my way down to the bottom so that's gonna be fun and exciting um, I can't remember where they come in though isn't it yeah we go through here now it's the bar cool and now we can save so I think it's gonna be a good idea just to go in here after all that I've done all that I've sacrificed. I'm going to quickly check this area and drop off my other golf club. Drop off my other golf club and see where I'm at. Let my health come back. And just take a moment to breathe. Because this has been like a stressful enemy episode. There's just been so goddamn many of them. Like they were just like, hey, you know, here's some enemies here and there. But like, no, it's just like here's seven in one small area and one's got a golf club. <laughs> It's, uh, it's terrible. Um, let me... Is there anything going on out here? No. Is that not the... Is Hang on a minute, right? Is that not the... You know, I thought so. Here we go. I thought so. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. That guy there... That guy there who is the guy that we met, who's our neighbor in this building, is lying down asleep. He's lying down asleep. That's him and I can pick him out from the tie. I fuck, I knew, I knew that looking apart, looking in here to all of these people was not for nothing. There was a reason and it's why, and I think that must be why there are now people not in their apartments and I must not have noticed it before because that's where we are at the moment, Hotel South Ashfield, is what I must not have noticed before is these other people looked like uh, other people. So maybe one of these rooms is for Cynthia, the other one is for Jasper, and there's another one for Andrew. That's my assumption because now I can't, I can't think back. I'm gonna have to actually go back and look at my previous episodes to see, but 100%, because that's the same tie. That guy's sleeping. There's a dude there that's sleeping as well, so he might be someone else that we encounter. That's genius. It's like literally right in front of our faces um, that this whole apartment is absolutely crazy, but why are we the ones? 
Why are we the ones that are trapped in our apartment, yet it seems like these people can move freely? Because we've had, uh, I believe his name is Richard, uh, Richard Braintree, I think it was now that I am, uh, it's come back to me, um, is across there and he was able to check out our apartment. He was able to check out our apartment door, which, uh, confuses me. I wonder if that means that we'll encounter Eileen because it's not like these people don't know who we are because Eileen, I mean, sorry. Because I, because Richard knew who we were because he said, you're that guy. And we said, yes. What the hell? The, the, the game, the game just won't even let me have, the game just won't even let me have <laughs> a moment of peace just to have a chat to you guys to see where we're at brain-wise. It needs to send a floating head across the window. Oh, for God's sake. Are you yearning for that special place to spend quality time with your loved one? Do you need to relax and get away from it all? Come to Silent Hill for the ultimate peaceful getaway. Great. So, guys, as I'm talking about just having some peace and quiet with you guys, the radio is like, hey, we got you. Come to come to Silent Hill. But yeah, this, when I inspect the clock, it still does this. Won't let me do anything. What the absolute hell is going on? What's going on out here? Hey buddy, oh my god. So crazy stuff at the moment is, oh, and there's another one. I didn't ask for that, I didn't, didn't consent to that, I don't want that at all. Yep, that's still the same. That makes me wonder if everyone, if everyone has the potential to get trapped in these nightmare worlds, like even Frank Sunderland, uh, even I lean like we have we have absolutely no idea um, but there you go uh, that was a trip that was worth going back for because we encountered floating heads outside my window I was able to actually figure out that that Richard guy is sleeping across from us so he's currently having a nightmare we seem to be a unique variable because we are awake in our apartment and we choose to go through this hole to travel into this and we are witnessing the events of these murders of the of these characters that are seemingly murdered in their sleep or murdered in their nightmare is this like freddy krueger like friday the 13th stuff where they get murdered in their nightmares if you get killed in your dream you get killed in real life sort of thing because He's in his apartment right now, but he's also out here, uh, up the top, which I now have to avoid because there's going to be ghosts out here. Um, so absolutely wild. I also just realized that, um, I also just realized that I have not gotten the sword and that spade. I just, I just remembered, sorry, that my, my, uh, my checkpoint, my checkpoint didn't include items that I'd already picked up so I'm, I saw, I'm sorry I I, <laughs> I forgot and now I have to quickly as we got right to the end you'll probably be glad that I remembered is I'm just going to quickly go and get those items and then we'll come back so brief intermission so we're back at the bar now I have the spade here is my proof and I have another sword <laughs> and I feel like we're finally at the end now all over the place uh, this episode, but it makes me very glad that I actually decided to kill all those enemies on the way here because with the back and forth that I had to do and the amount of dodging I would have to do, I just would not be able to handle it. And it just, it goes to show that whenever I play a Silent Hill game, the game stresses me out so much. My critical decision making, my critical thinking goes right out the window because I am focused on how terrified I am and the game is really achieving that. <laughs> like, I don't think I've, I don't think I've mentioned this or really said this uh, during my time playing the first three Silent Hill games, but after I would finish recording an episode of 
Silent Hill, especially Silent Hill 1, I would feel exhausted afterwards. I would feel so stressed and not necessarily scared after I was playing, but I was I was exhausted. Like it t takes a lot of mental strength to play Silent Hill, <laughs> at least for me. Uh, the the game that actually affected me the most mentally was when I played PT. The game scared the absolute crap out of me that I was getting scared when I had to edit the, the, the game. When I was editing the episode, it scared me because if anything was happening around me, I'd get scared. I, get, I was just getting like even the simplest, the simplest things and then like lying awake at night being like, oh yeah, this is great on a hugely windy night when my tin roof is like rattling and I'm like, I'm dead. It's, it's games like that that like get into my mental state and actually mess with you. And, uh, Chef's Kiss, you, you did it, game. You you psyched me out. <laughs> Completely. Enough to make myself look like a fool when I'm trying to get through this game. Ah! And, you know. I hope it's all entertaining for you. At least, uh, at least I'm actually getting where I need to go in the end. Making sure that I don't miss anything. I love that I've got this ghost underneath me right now. This is perfect. He's trapped underneath me. Wasn't there two of them though? I felt like there was two of them. Where's the second one? Maybe the second one tried to get me somewhere else. And he's been left behind. Oh no, there he is. Yep, there he is. Because we've seen I've seen that guy before, that same ghost, in a different instance. But I'm outrunning them. Because I'm best better than you. Stop damaging me from underneath the stairs. Oh my god, this is such a run. I'm glad that they didn't get get me. Oh no, hang on. Oh no, hang on. Oh yes, they're still underneath me. I was so glad because I was like, oh my god, if they were able to be chasing me up the stairs the whole time, I'd be screwed. We're at room 207. This is his room. This is his room. What's this? It's door 207 from my apartment building. There's a plate on the door. Remove the plate. The chaos placard. That, that does summarize this episode. It, it has been absolute chaos in how I have played the game and how the game and how the game has played me. He really held on a long time to get that information out to me. Yes, it's Walter Sullivan. Who uh, is he? Is he? Uh, is he choosing? Is he able to appear in a childlike form to be innocent to lure victims? That was absolutely terrifying, dude. That was the worst. Maybe that orphanage in the forest and the cylinder-shaped prison were both somewhere in this photo too. Can I call the, the bar again and see if there's anything? Are there any changes after that?
making the ghost sounds, that noise just now, what was that? So it's making the ghost noises, which is uh, <laughs> not fun. Uh, it seems there's some kind of ancient native religion still active in Silent Hill. You got that right, buddy. I hear that it's almost never sunny. All right, we've already done that. Uh, there was even a rumor that a UFO came flying right by the lighthouse. The UFO ending, guys. The UFO ending. Man in room 207, pointing his finger out the window. That's what Walter, Walter was doing. He was pointing out the window in room 207. Is that Walter Sullivan? Is that like his character model from far away that's like low poly? That dude's rocking out on his air guitar down there. I want to look at this from the other angle, from from the front room. Looks like another one, Captain. Got one, one, two, one on his head. It's just like that case from ten years ago. Yeah, that Walter Sullivan case. But Sullivan's dead. They even got the body. Must be some crazy copycat. Yeah, but even so... Mm. Uh, I want to check it from here. Am I, am I going crazy? Because I thought, I thought Walter Sullivan, no, sorry, I thought Richard Braintree was sleeping. His character model was there in that door, in that window. And there was a dude sleeping down there. But then apparently this is room 207, unless that is all one room. Actually, no, that could be right, because that could be like his front room and that could be his bedroom. Because we have two bed, yeah, no, no, that, that's because we have two windows. We've got our lounge room, our bedroom, and that was the guy that was sleeping before, who's now awake playing air guitar. Okay, that does actually change some things, because now all these people are doing different stuff. That lady, who was in that room on the bottom left before, is now in that room and then this these people because one they were both looking out the window before are now in separate rooms okay this makes much more sense cool yeah and now you've got this guy who's just pointing at Eileen's room what the hell dude So that could be Walter Sullivan. Right there. This is, this is insane. I got this photo from Sunderland. He uses room 105 as the superintendent's room. So he's in 105. Uh, this is South Ashford Heights. It's U-shaped, so you can see what the person living across with you is doing all the time. Now that I think of it, there was a movie like that a long time ago. I don't know what movie that was. Uh, the TV, the radio, the phone, the window, the door. What the hell is going on here? Buddy, you tell me. You tell me. Um, Chaos Placard is going in the item box. Uh, Sword of Obedience is also going in there. So we've still got two more. I'll, I guess I'll keep those two pistol bullets. <laughs> and we've got multiple melee weapons. So I might just keep two for now. I'll keep a weapon and uh, in the spade and the axe. Because one's like... One's probably a bit stronger, but heavier, and the other one's a bit lighter. So that that look that looks good to me. We've got to check on Eileen because that seems to be the next thing to do. So that's why I'm stalling. 
Hey Frank, you should go check on Eileen. And we've got another handprint on the wall. Alright, let's give it a look-see. Hey Eileen! We can literally peek right into your room. She's getting dressed to go out. Getting dressed for murder. And she's gone. Interesting. Uh, um, I guess that means maybe we'll be meeting Eileen in the next world over. I'm just going to quickly check it again. It might restart. No, I'm hearing more. There we go. Yeah, she's dressed up. She's going on a date. And her date's name is Walter Sullivan. Eileen, no! What are you doing, lady? Alright, looks like it might just be replaying that one scene. Let's check it one more time, because it gave us a new one. No, it's just going to be playing the same one. Interesting. Uh, now let's check out the window again. He's still pointing. Spooky. Okay, well, we're saving our game. We're saving our game. New save. Return from building world. Lovely. Okay, guys. I think that is a good opportunity for us to bring this episode to a close because it's been chaotic to say the least so we've had another victim Eileen seems to be next the building world was absolutely terrifying everything was all over the place it looks like I've got to prepare myself for maybe even way more enemies to come if this game keeps escalating so I'm gonna carry some more handgun bullets <laughs> on me in the next episode for whatever the hell's next uh, I mean who knows maybe it could be a brief intermission uh, where me and Eileen are on a date in a bar and everything's normal until her food is poisoned and she dies she's gone on a date could be with me. We don't even know. Let's find out next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I'll see you next time.